Hey, what's going on guys? Punk Rock Vibes here. So as you saw, I removed three unit rack mount unit pieces because we're going to be installing this Universal Audio for 710D. I'm really psyched about using this and it does a few different things. The price point is about $2,000, but it's definitely worth it from everything that I've heard from other engineers and such. I've always wanted a tube amp, but the Marshall JVM stack is like, what, $3,000, $3,500? It's like $3,000 if you could find a deal on it. So I figured, you know what? I'll just spend the two grand and I was gonna get the Twinfinity, but I ended up getting the 4710D just because I wanna be able to shape my tone between going from solid state to tube and that was the primary reason why I got this but it also has a built-in compressor and also has a built-in DI box at least that's what I read and that's supposed to improve your signal so we're gonna hook this up and what I want to do is I kind of want to switch between where my guitars are right now as you can see and where my rack unit is so I'm gonna be swapping them I also have the Scarlett 18i20 USB interface I don't like the location of it I feel like I kind of bump it every now and then and you kind of don't want to bump your levels or anything like that so what I want to do is remove these two units, close it up, and just kind of just use it as a regular screen monitor stand. And I'm going to take those units and put it in my Odyssey rack. So that's the goal of what we're going to be doing. And I want to be able to shape my tone. I'm going to be kind of playing, practicing, just to kind of feel out what kind of tone I'm looking for. So that way I could write a lot more good music for you guys. I know I haven't written anything in a while and I haven't really played in four months, which is, you know, a crime. I love playing. So let's hook this up and see if we can shape the tone a little bit little bit of my guitars. Whenever you get a new piece of equipment, make sure you learn it. Don't just buy up a whole bunch of different rack mount equipment, like piece of equipment, just to say that you have it. Make sure you learn every single piece of hardware that's in your rack. I don't know if a lot of people fall under that category, but I still figured I would point that out. We were setting this up until two o'clock in the morning, and I didn't think it was gonna take that long, but between filming and cable management, it just, <laughs> the time kind of got away from us, but it was definitely a lot of fun. It was a little frustrating, but we got it all done. So now that we have everything all set up with the 710D, let's get over to that Boss Katana to MK2 and figure out our guitar sound. demo I wanted to show you guys what the guitar would sound like if you had a full band you know drums bass guitar and also I hard panned left and right and I didn't EQ I didn't compress anything this is pretty much the raw sound you would get with the Boss Katana MK2 with the Universal Audio for 710D honestly I think it really enhances my sound more just if you listen to a lot of the stuff that I did in the past I like the tube tone blend that you get being able to shape your tone between solid state and tube is just really a wonderful thing I've never used anything like this before and I've just kind of been a plug-and-play kind of guy and just record without really using too much stuff too much stuff to shape the tone but other than you know whatever settings that I have on the amp like your highs your mids your lows and I know two grand sounds like a really expensive piece I mean there are some Apollo interfaces that are worth four grand so I mean let's be real like it's expensive but it's not really all that bad especially for what you're getting out of it and I know there's a lot of units out there that claim to be too tone blend settings but as you guys can see the 710d does have the tube in there that you would find like in a marshall jvm tube amplifier and a lot of these other brands out there you know that i've heard about they just have tube emulators but not actual tube like as if you are playing from a marshall jvm so i really enjoy playing this and also on another note i'm really glad to be back playing music and writing and recording going to be doing a lot of covers a lot of originals and doing music videos and just picking up where we left off four months ago it's just been a hard couple of months I haven't really been motivated but lately the last couple of weeks I've definitely been motivated to play and I know I haven't come out with any videos in a while and you know I was actually listening to a lot of the older videos that I did like the Richmond North of Richmond cover the landmines cover and far too young that original I did I was listening back to it and I'm like oh man I'm rocking this this definitely sounds really good I also appreciate all the love from you guys in the comment section telling me to keep playing you know come out with some new music and that just kind of got me pumping and here I am so we're gonna have a lot more new music coming your way 
away the next couple of weeks. Next week, I'm going to be working in the studio, just gathering ideas, and you know, maybe I'll come up with something that I really enjoy. I was thinking about doing the Smells Like Teen Spirit, but like pop punkish. I know that song pretty well. I've never tried to do it like a pop punk version of it, so I think that would be a really cool project. That's my first Pro Tools project. So I guess that's pretty much it. Definitely drop that like, guys. You know, we're trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. I know we're only like 191 right now, but we're having a lot of fun making videos. I'm just really glad to be back with you and making music and writing and recording. And this is just my passion. This is what I've always wanted to do. This is my favorite thing to do is just writing and recording music and, and just being part of the music scene with you guys. All right, so I'm done rambling. I feel like I always ramble maybe like at the end of a vlog type of video. But if you also enjoy the vlogs, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to smash that like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads, music videos, music vlogs, anything I do with the studio, product reviews, anything like that. So I hope everyone has a great day. Always stay rocking, stay creative. I'll talk to you guys soon.